don't want losers. Let's hey, get it. That's a great way to put it. All right, so Glug versus Teb, and that is going to be Mario versus Lucina. Hey, starting off, Pokemon Stadium 2, which has really become like the norm of like most most sets. This is definitely the new Smash Bros. Yeah, oh yeah, and I love it so much. We wanted this thing so bad, we were almost willing to do the turn the stage hazards off, you know, put a Jigglypuff on. Oh, not no, quite. Not a Jigglypuff. Uh oh. <laughs> we just want to get another look at Teb real quick. Plug two, but here we go. We got uh, Teb kind of head starting the mess out of this poor Mario, trying to get his way back in. Right. I think uh, I think Glug is actually yeah. okay. Glug is the you know. oh, Okay, he's, he's like kind of juggling him quite a bit. Teb not able to get his feet on the ground here. Oh, but we do see it there, and that's gonna lead to a grab, but not able to follow up as easily. Down throw, and of course, Glug the DIing out. And the air does connect for Glug, and now we're back to the Les Trap game. Oh, this is, yeah, this boy has a lot of trouble getting on here. But able to make it back to the stage slowly with that cape into the jump up beat. Okay, still having a second jump. Now, taking a lot of damage just getting off the ledge. Something I definitely noticed about tournament play, you know, different from, like, friendlies or whatever, you see people playing extremely slow, and they don't go for these crazy options. Uh, the ones who usually win, they, they tend to go for slow edge guarding, or right there you catch them out of the jump with four times. I mean, if your opponent's committing to a... An option that really has them in either lag or an animation for quite a bit, you can throw out like the biggest hit on. Yeah, it's like if you have that read, like that's the only time you really see these two commitments. And it's looking good right now. Especially from Lucina. Lucina will uh, typically play a little bit back. Uh, they'll weave in and now try and bait you to throw out an option. And we see that really coming out the plug. And I like these, uh, he falls to the platform so smoothly with the up airs. Unable to get that connection right there. Getting air trading, going to allow Ted to get back to the stage. Good dash dancing, but going to trade with the dancing blade from Glug. Right, and Perry, another one right back at you. Just look at how safe these, well, these two players are playing. Oh, the tech! Gotta be careful with those. What's going on over there? Glug just kind of moving. All right, back there. Should be able to take it right here. It will. All right, he's not charging down by too flood. much. Yeah, charging up the flood. That's going to allow uh, Ted to just create some space whenever he feels like he, it's necessary. Roll read with the neutral right there. Probably not just trying to crack the shield, just to get that damage on deck. Just short hop at the roll distance of the leg. Such a smart play from Blood. Let's have able to escape those traps. Right, and you also, ooh, air dodging right towards the dangerous stuff. Nice, you can tap on the ledge again. Okay, yeah, again, Blood not really committing to anything too crazy. He can make sure he can get what he can in the upbeat. Oh. Thinking he was smash four for a second there, he didn't get that early stock. Oh, he used his air dodge. He's not going to have another one. Okay, that was just scary. I don't know what happened right there. Able to make it back to the stage just barely. Of course, Lucina throwing out another big F smash. And once again, catching him out of that jump. Lux seems to have the breeze on that situation. But to be fair, Mario is a character who likes to jump in with aerials, so yeah. That's true, especially with having like such a safe down air. Yeah, and his air. And his air, and they both cross up, so... Aerial approach is very, very common in this game, but even more common for Mario. Great. Trying to jump in, but he's gonna get forward air for it. I mean, just continue to maintain the space at the ledge, just, just being within that roll range in case uh, Ted does try to roll. Yeah. And then he's even weaving in and out with like forward air and air. Exactly, I was gonna say, you see a lot of feedback. Oh, trying to get that roll read once again for jumping. Or getting a, it, okay. Yep, getting a bait of his own. Ted taking a uh, second stock from the ledge. Yeah. Ted is able to keep it you know, decently close, still down by a little bit, but he could bring this back. Yeah, good use of Blood, actually it's creating more space for Blood, making it really feel like Blood needs to approach. Right. Or, or else, you know, with, of course, Lucina not having any projectiles, not going to be able to uh, do any damage from the bar. Right, and this combo happening right now. Can he get another hit? Oh, he read the air dodge, but did not go for a follow-up. That's going to put Ted right back into his game. Yeah, yeah. That's dancing, but only is he hit by a forward air. Woo! Ooh, so great to go in for it and try to mix him up with that forward smash, man. He definitely mixed up, but just not able to connect the forward smash. Like scary spot right here. Look how far he's coming out for him. He still had his jump, okay? Oh, down smash. Oh, almost takes it, but Ted. Wow, so deep for it, knowing that Glove was going to dip low and try to come up onto the stage with an up B. And Ted had, like, such a good reaction. As soon as he saw Glove use the directional air dodge just to keep himself from going into the blast zone, he just went off stage. He knew exactly where Glove was going to be. Yeah, the fact that he actually chased him out there, and you could barely even see Lucina's uh, character model right there, too. So, okay, okay. Yeah, definitely brought that game back.
That was looking very, uh, very unfortunate yeah, for, it was looking, for Teb. Yeah, it looked like Lug had all the answers right there, but I do feel like, you know, there was a couple of situations that he could have pushed his advantage a little harder, but he opted to wait back and put himself out of the actual good space. And that's just the downside of whenever you're playing, like, too, too, uh, too big. Yeah, very, very Sometimes you gotta play, you gotta throw that Hail Mary. Yeah, he, he was getting those three forwards matches, though, so maybe he can just clean it up a little bit and be able to bring it back. Okay, but does that give Teb the momentum he needs to just close out this set? Can't get the grab in there. He's not done for this combo. Right, he's definitely not done. We're going right in front of Slug, trying to land an S match, but does get hit for it. Oh, good parry, punishing the up air, and now we see a couple up airs from his own. Oh, Upbeat right. connecting. It's surprising looking at the turnaround right now. Teb looking like he sort of was lost at the beginning of game one, and then brought it back at the end, and now suddenly running away with this. Yeah, I mean, we know we both know how much Mario struggles to get in against sword characters. They, of course, create that barrier that makes it so difficult for someone with very little stubby arm to get in. But Teb has found his way in, and an up smash connects onto Glug. I feel like that DI right there might have got mixed up a little bit, too. I don't think that should have killed just yet. Okay, we're creating even more space, using the flood. Now so he's approaching with uh, down air. Ooh, trying to follow up with the up tilt, that's going to get down air. Unable to get a follow up though is Zena. Trying to work her way back into this match. So using the Nair to approach, but now we see the Nair getting punished. Oh, punished so hard it is. Making these combos look so true. I mean, he's making... Kev is making Mario look like Smash 4 Mario with just the amount of up airs and down right. airs that he's connecting. Okay, forward air connects. This is going to be Ted or Glug's opportunity. Yeah, and he needed that, man. He needed that edge guard situation to finally take a stop here. This is starting to get really out of hand. Yeah, don't go, don't go too low uh, against Mario. He's going to be able to make it back there. Uppy is still ridiculously good at recovery. Right. Can't really get that up smash. Not going to take a stop this time. Oh, dropping low again. Ooh, he tried it, man. Now, we, now we're starting to see Glug go for a, a little bit more options that aren't as safe. Yeah, and I don't blame him. You're at 140. I mean, might as well make the stock count before you lose that thing. And the there pivot you go. up smash. Classic Mario kill control. Classic, yes. Alright, gonna get these jabs in here too. And at 140, man, making crazy things happen. All with the up tilt combo. You know he would have done some kind of flood shenanigans. Oh, definitely. Bringing it down with the forward air. Wow, he even throwing it so low. He was gonna take him out with him. He did not care. He could have recovered, but he's like, nah, you come out here, girl. You know what's happening. Oh, definitely. Now we see the up air. Up air. Another up air, up B. Oh, the directional air dodge. He's, he's fishing for it. He really is. This man got to get back on the stage. I like the jump aerial in case that Mario tried to attack him there. Ooh. Okay, able to get a spot dodge in the grab zone. Maybe make a crazy combo happen right here. We saw TK make an insane comeback. Maybe Glug can do it too. Great. Tim looking for those F smashes, but a nair to punish the falling from Glug. Ooh, good dancing blade. going to put Teb off stage. Can he get this? His edge guards just aren't it exactly. He's catching once he gets off the ledge, but he's not really doing anything while Tev is off stage. That's true, but we haven't seen an F smash at the ledge for quite some time from Glug. He might be trying to save it, but maybe saved it too long, too long. as Teb takes the set. And he took that with all three of smashes. Do you need another kill option when you're Mario? <laughs> Do you? I don't think so. He's just rocking his hair back and forth. And he's got the hard hat on. You know it's sending yeah. him just a little bit further. I kind of, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I kind of wish that he would have got that forward air at, at oh. game two. That would have been so clean. That's the, we're going down together. I'm yeah, taking you home. with me. <laughs> that would have been nice. But okay, great stuff by uh, Teb. Yeah, it, Teb. It, really, it really did not look like he was going to run away with that game like he did. Especially at the start of game one. It just being boxed out for so long. Yeah, he looked Continuously lost. getting trapped over and over. Yeah. But, I mean... When, when Mario gets in, boy, does he get in. He got in. All right, we got